So this track is The Forest is Burning. Um, this is by far the most troublesome track on the whole album. In fact, um, <laughs> this is probably the reason there is a whole album, because I was trying to write this song and I ended up writing like two other ones instead. And I was like, oh wait, actually, there's a story here, because I realised those other tracks were different. Um, but I'll get more to, into that when I get to those tracks. But um, for now, just know that this one was a right pain in the backside. But I got there. I think there's about four different versions of this track on my computer, on like two different music programs. Um, but yeah, it. I to be honest, actually, I think it's quite in character for Forrest's song to be the most difficult because he is very erratic and not helpful at all on any occasion. So, <laughs> um, so it tracks. Um, anyway. As I said, this song's about Forrest. Um, it's based on a bit of his tune in Remember the Days. Um, when I first was writing this track and the track called The Ruin by the Sea. Um, so originally there was only going to be three tracks on this album and um, it was going to be the Remember the Days and then two tracks expanding on their, those two characters that were in that song. Um, so this track kind of parallels uh, Ruins track and it's kind of just a track it was supposed to be a track just to encapsulate this character um, so it, it's kind of set um, so it, you know how I remember the days they had there was a bit where um, so it was also it was about young forest and ruin but it was also about ruin in the future looking back on those times this is kind of similar in that um, it's forest at that same sort of point in time as older ruin and he and Ruin have sort of um, got this mythological status now because they're these quite powerful entities. Um, and the mortals, um, they don't view them as high as the, the celestial forces, but they're kind of like demigods to them, I guess. So they're like, um, they're forces to be reckoned with and um, there's a kind of reverence about them. Um, and the, the mortals like to come up with stories about about both of them, but particularly Forrest, because Forrest is a very angry and destructive entity. At this point, him and Ruin are completely separate, um, and Forrest is basically, um, well, he's time going fast, so he's all the times in which he's, he seems like panic. Um, he's a, the reason he's a forest fire is because he's things going wrong very quickly, basically. Um, that's what he encapsulates. Um, and he's incredibly destructive um, and very angry. And the the mortals like to ask, what started that fire? Why is he the way he is? And they have lots of stories about it. Um, Forrest knows all these stories and he's kind of... What he says in the song is he says, those stories don't matter. It doesn't matter how it started. It just matters that I lost my only friend, which is ruin, of course. Um, but let's backtrack so you can find out what happened there. So, uh, where we left off in the Hall of the Celestial Forces, um, Ruin and Forest had just discovered that they weren't two entities, actually. They were supposed to be one time, one of the Celestial Forces. Um, but they've been split up. Um, and so what the, um, the other Celestial Forces, they want them to merge together and become time again because they want the balance of the universe to be restored, they want things to be back as they were, because things aren't quite working without time, and they want time back. Um, and they say, right, you guys have just got to merge together, um, and then you'll become time again, and you'll have all your powers back, and everything will be fine. Uh, but the problem is that the two of them don't know how to do that, and the celestial forces don't know how to help them do that either, really. Uh, they try lots of things, but they don't know because this has never happened to a celestial force before. Um, I think they were of the opinion that they were untouchable, that nothing could hurt them. So the fact that this king managed to split time in two and have such an impact that even when it was in a new reality and everything had been remade, time was still damaged, essentially. Um, I think that was quite a shock to them. And they're not quite sure how permanent the damages if that makes sense um and also forest and time don't have any memory sorry forest and ruin don't have any memories of being time they don't they don't know 
what their powers are, or how to use them, other than what they know already of themselves. They don't remember this other reality, they don't remember anything of it. So that changes things actually, because then when the celestial forces realise they have absolutely no memories and they don't know how to merge again, um, well, it makes things a bit different because not everyone actually liked time. So um, I think I said in the previous video that um, nature really missed time because nature liked their seasons being in the right order. Um, but a couple of the other forces are more okay with there not being any time around. Um, Balance always already had a bone to pick with time because all the other forces have like an equal and opposite force. Uh, so it's always life and death. Uh, strife and peace uh, and then time and balance were the only ones who didn't have uh, an opposite and balance was like well I'm balanced so I'm balanced anyway but time's unbalanced so <laughs> so balance already had a problem with time um, but there's a couple of others that are like well actually you know what it might be better if time wasn't around that's okay with us because we've been getting on fine and we can kind of do we're not so um, constrained to the structures of time also, time was a bit of a jerk. Like, <laughs> they were a cocky little assholes. So, um, <laughs> they 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 liked to think they were really powerful, um, and was kind of the most important force. So uh, there was bones to pick there. Um, but um, and some of the others are also thinking, well, actually, if time, even if they do, we, if we can get them to merge, and time still doesn't have any memories we kind of have a position of power here because we can control time more because they don't know what things were like before so we can have a bit more control over time and we can make time do what we want and the entities do the, the, the celestial forces like the sound of that so um there's this slightly bit more sinister undertone suddenly um and ruin and forest themselves are also a bit conflicted um so obviously they don't know that this whole conversation is going on between the other forces they're just arguing amongst themselves. Um, and Ruin thinks, oh no, we should stay here with the Celestial Forces. We shouldn't try and merge. We should just work together, figure it out, and um, but, but do our job as time, but with the two of us, rather than just being one entity. Whereas Forrest is like, no, we should go. Because I think Forrest is a bit more aware that the others, the other forces are like, oh, we could manipulate time to do what we want and be in our control rather than um be because they haven't got any memories um so forest like nah, nah we should um we should merge together because then we'd be more powerful and then we should get the hell out of here and we should just do what we want um because the forest prefers forest is already, already like i want to go back to it just being the two of us but if we merge then nobody can split us up it'll always be the two of us and then we can go do what we want and screw these guys um, so there's a kind of argument between Ruin and Forest here. They can't come to a compromise because they both want different things. Um, and they both think they need to do different things. They just can't agree. But, um, they get, um, well, it turns out that one of the celestial forces actually has a very different idea of what they want to happen, and that is Chaos. And Chaos thinks, hmm. I could um, shake things up a bit, and if I aped the two of them, I could um, get their powers, because Chaos kind of wants their powers. Chaos is, kind of likes the idea of having time to themselves, actually, and having the abilities of time. So he's like, if I if I ate them both, this sounds a bit weird, because <laughs> eating in a more metaphorical sense rather than literal, um, but if I ate them both, I could have their power. Um, the other celestial forces don't realise that Chaos is doing this. Um, but when Ruin and Forest realise, they're like, okay, we're going. <laughs> so the two of them just go. Um, and they run off. Um, and Chaos immediately goes back to the others and it's like, we've got to hunt them down. Um, I think Chaos suggests that they are, um, going to team up and then fight against them or something, or use their powers against them. The... Celestial forces are somewhat nervous of time in general because time actually really was quite powerful and also had a big influence on all of their abilities. Um, so while they're all very powerful forces, and as Ruin and Forest are at the moment, they are not a match for them, 
um, they are very wary of the fact that they have this, that Ruin and Forest have this untapped power that they could suddenly figure out very quickly and then they would all be in trouble. So, um, uh, so, so, so Chaos persuades them and they all like, they're all like, okay, yeah, we've got to get them back. Um, and so they basically hunt them down. Um, and this happens for a little while. Um, and because of Ruin and Forest, so like in the mortal world at this point when they escape. So then, um, the celestial forces are suddenly like ripping through the mortal world, trying to find them. And it causes a lot of mortals to get like killed, hurt, like in the, cro in the crossfire, like a lot of chaos happens. L literal chaos, not metaphorical chaos. Um, and then, um, so, so then, uh, when Ruin sees that, she's like, I don't want mortals to die because we are being hunted down. Because she always, she's always been, um, f found more appeal to mortals than Forrest has. I think she remembers the community that raised them in a much more fond light than Forrest does. She looks at, hum looks at humanity, looks at mortals and thinks of the good she sees the good in them she sees the wonder she sees the people who are explorers like her and forest who are curious and she likes that um whereas forest sees the worst in them because he remembers the com part of the community that chucked them back out into the desert he remembers um the people who would hurt them if they knew that they were different so um forest like who cares about some mortals like let's just make sure we don't get killed by these guys um Whereas Ruin's like, no, we don't want them to get, um, we don't want people to die for us. Like, we don't, she doesn't want that. Um, so she thinks that they should, she thinks if we split up, then it's going to be easier for us to hide on our own. Because part of the reason that the, the forces can track them so easily is because they can sense their time. Um, so if they split up, their sen that sense will be harder to detect because they'll be, won't be together. Um, and then they might stop looking for them because they might not be able to find them and then the mortals will stop being killed. And Forrest is like, no way. Because uh, bear in mind at this point they've never actually been apart, really. Um, and so um, Forrest is like, no, 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 we should merge together, like I said before, and we should fight back against these celestial forces. Because I think he knows that the forces are scared of them. So he's like, I bet we could take them. And Ruin's like, no, that's a terrible idea. They're really powerful and we don't know what we're doing. And also we don't even know how to merge and we don't know what will happen if we do merge. Um, so she's like, no, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Um, also, we don't want to fight against them because if we don't have a quarrel with them, we want to work with them. And Forrest is like, yes, we do have a quarrel with them. Chaos tried to eat us. I, it sort of goes on like that. Um, anyway, um, and then this is in the middle of them being hunted down. So at some point, something happens, which means the two of them get sort of split up in this um, battleground or whatever's going on. And Ruin's like, okay, we're actually like physically separated from each other just a bit. So she decides to take that opportunity to be like, we have to split up. It's the only way I'm going, basically. And Forrest is like, no, don't go. Um, but she goes. And yeah, so they, that's what that's how they split up. Um, and he's left all on his own. There's a bit at the end of this track, which is quite important, um, light motif wise. It's the very last phrase that we hear, and it's the, the 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 melody, the lyrics for the melody, is just know that I lost my only friend. And that melody gets used again. So listen out for it, um, but it's but it's in the in the um, in quite a few of the tracks. So, but that that's related to Forest losing Ruin, not just at this point because there's more more chaos and angst to come. Um, but Ru uh, Ruin sings at another point as well, um, because she didn't want to leave Forest either. She just thought it was the only way. Um, but this is why this is why Forest hates mortals particularly like not just all the other stuff anyway but um also because of the fact that ruin chose to protect mortals over staying with him so that's why he's particularly destructive and angry towards them so um and also there's some other things that make him angry but i will go into that in the next track 
as always. But anyway, I hope that made some, some sense and wasn't too rambly. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions.